it's Kilobyte here. This video I'm going to upgrade my Mazda Connect from 70.00335 to the latest 74 version. And I'm letting it run, make sure that the battery is fully charged. You can also connect a trickle charger to it, but you don't want your battery to die while you're doing the upgrade. So this is going to hopefully be a fairly quick one and to the point there are instructions in the link where you download the software you will need a thumb drive uh, somewhere around uh, probably four gig this one's a 16 gig and it takes up like none of the space you need to format it in fat 32 and then copy the file over I do suggest checking the hash to see to make sure it copied right and everything if you need detail on that look at the detailed video uh, link is also in the description all right with the car off make sure you have everything disconnected from the USB ports and you have your SD card out if you have navigation so now you press the start stop button once without touching any pedals Shut the door so it quits yelling at me. Wait for the Mazda Connect to fully start. And you want to change it to, it says either AM or FM. So I put it on an FM station. At the same time, you want to press music, favorite, and mute, and hold it for a couple seconds. That's a lot better than DJ. So this screen comes up. This is your diagnostic test screen. Test screen. Now you're going to hit three. Enter. There are none, but we're going to clear. Now we're going to hit two. Enter. Clear. Exit. Now we're going to press start stop twice. To turn that turns it off now you want to make sure the hood shut the bonnet shut <laughs> the truck shut the doors are shut and locked take the key with you at least five meters away and stay away keep the key away for at least three minutes now it says to use the remote to lock it and to unlock it so I did just to make sure we're covered all right so we're gonna press the start stop again once no pedals if you have a dash cam like i do unplug it so it's not pulling power while you're while it's doing this insert the usb now do you remember how to go to the start diagnostic test screen let's see favorites music and mute added to favorites yeah i didn't want to do that Hold it down. We got that. So now we want to hit 99. Enter. Search. Now you might be wondering why I'm upgrading a 70 to a 74. Well, there are bug fixes, yes. <laughs> but also, there's a way to make 74 touch screen work while moving uh, that'll be a whole other video update current new would you like to update now and once every 20 minutes you must step on the brake pedal for automatic or clutch pedal for manual or open and close the driver's door well all right update Okay, it's updating. Key things here. You cannot lose power, battery power. You cannot lose it. And second, do not press the button, start stop button. You gotta let it run. It could take up to 40 minutes. I have started a timer, 20 minute timer. And I'm gonna let it run. I'm gonna actually wash the car. Well, this is running because it's an overcast day 
and the car's dirty in case you didn't notice and it is doing the preparation so there it, there will be a black screen don't panic there may be a white screen don't panic just let it run and then it'll eventually get to an update screen where it'll start counting from zero to 100. hopefully you can see that it's pretty dark but basically updating software every 20 minutes step on a pedal or open close the door two percent ready do not press the push button start that's what you're and it's just going to gradually count up well <laughs> in burst it's going to count up to 100. it's been 15 minutes on my 19 miata and it's 80 percent done according to the bar Okay, version 74003.24, and it's actually like A or something. Software install was successful. This is the latest and last version for the this this Mazda Connect setup here. Please turn AC off and on again for changes to take effect. All right, so we're gonna double click to turn everything off. We're going to remove the USB. We're going to get out. Everything is shut. We're going to lock the doors with the remote and we're going to leave it for three minutes again like we did before. Okay, it's been over three minutes. Feet are not touching the pedals. Hit start, stop. Let it fully boot. It's the first time it's booting with the new OS. And <laughs> honestly, that's probably fully booted. I think it says to wait like a minute, give it a whole minute. But system about version boom seventy seven zero zero. 324 this is NA that's I only have links to the NA at the current time I will put whatever links in the description for the versions that I have available I do have some 70 dot versions for other areas at this time but 74 I only have for the North America all right that's it we are completely upgraded Go about your business as normal and hopefully there will be no bugs because they're not doing any more updates. So I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off. Then you can plug in your USBs and your SD card if you've got NAV and you'll be ready to roll. So I hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment and good luck with yours. And don't forget to plug your dash cam back in.